So now that we have a basic understanding of 3D layers, null objects, and cameras, we can now move into a conversation about motion tracking. Now let's say you want to add some digital elements to existing footage, but there's a problem. The camera moves. Maybe it, it pans to the left, or perhaps it was on a gimbal and it's like moving forward, or even worse, perhaps it was handheld. No! Either way, the motion in the real life camera is gonna create an issue when we add our digital elements. They're gonna remain stationary as the camera is moving about. To fix this, we're gonna solve the camera in After Effects using the camera tracker in the tracker panel. What this does, is it effectively creates a digital version of that real life camera with, get this, the exact same movement applied. This allows us then to add elements like text into our environment and it's going to move just as if it were in the real shot. So I wanna introduce you in this tutorial to the tracker panel itself, the different types of trackers that we can talk about, and then we're gonna delve into solving cameras with the camera tracker. To begin, go ahead and download the files I have on Canvas for you, unzip that folder, and import these two clips into your project panel. One's called Track Boat, the other is called Track City Through. I'm gonna start with track boat. So go ahead and import that, select it, right click it, and make a new comp from selection. It's gonna make a composition that matches the settings of this clip. Now, it's a nice clip. I found this on Pexels. It is a clip of a camera kind of traversing through these two boats on dry land. Now, you can tell this shot was on a gimbal and the camera slowly kind of starts to rotate left as it moves forward. It's a nice shot. So I wanna add some elements to this. In fact, I wanna add a text layer that tracks with this, but it's complex. Because if I were to add a 3D text layer, I'd have to sit there and try to match the rotation keyframes and really try to make it seem like it's moving with that camera. But, but this is where motion tracking comes in. Come over to your panel list over to the far right and click on the tracker panel. The tracker panel gives us four different types of tracks that we can do. Track camera, track motion, and then two different types of stabilizers. A warp stabilizer, which is really just kind of like the premiere effect where it tries to stabilize the motion. And then you have stabilize motion, which will choose a certain point on your clip and stabilize it around that particular point. I'm not interested in the stabilizing tracks in this class. I'm gonna focus on track camera and track motion in the coming tutorials. For this tutorial, let's start with track camera. Now motion tracking is not hard. Your computer is gonna do most of the heavy lifting. In fact, all we gotta do is hit track camera. It's gonna add a effect called the 3D camera tracker to your clip so we're under the effect controls tab now, and it's initializing, and now it's gonna analyze frame by frame, depending on your computer, this may take longer, and it's gonna go through and it's going to try to solve the camera. Notice here, it says 3D solved. It's gonna to try to find exactly where that camera was in the real world. Fast forward this lovely process, and now the camera has been solved. And it gives us a bunch of tiny, colorful little crosses. And if you hover your mouse over them, this little red target appears. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute. Right now though, nothing has happened. It's literally gone through and thought through each frame, but nothing has technically been done yet because we have to tell it what to do next. Now these little crosses could be an option and I'll talk about those in the next video. But I wanna just click this create camera button to start. And with no thinking time at all, it creates a new camera. Now, if I go to my two views horizontal so I can see my top view, look what it did. It created a camera. And not only that, but it created frame by frame a motion path that, check it out, that camera now follows the exact movement that the real life camera followed to film this shot. Notice even how the camera starts to pan left as it tracks forward. This is pretty remarkable. And it did all the heavy lifting for us. There was literally no skill involved in this. Now I'm gonna go back to my one view here and 
I want to add some text now. Because we have a camera already, technically, any layer that we make into a 3D layer will interact properly in this new world. So I'm going to get out my text layer. I'm going to click here. And let's say this video is about a drought. That's very large. Get out my selection tool. And I'm going to make this text layer a 3D layer by clicking the 3D layer checkbox. Now it throws it over here randomly because it's now in our world that we've made. So you can see the relationship of our text layer to our camera. But check it out. It literally is a part of the world. So as the camera moves, so does the text layer. If you guys aren't like jumping up and down your seat with how cool that is, you're in the wrong class. This is really quite cool. And the fact that it took very little effort on our part is quite remarkable. Now we can come through and we can change where our text is and it will change the actual parallax as we move it. So if I move this over, I want it to look like it's in between my boats. So I'm gonna push it back. You can see now how our black composition square is more or less irrelevant at this point. We're kind of working in this giant 3D world that we've created. I'm gonna push this back even more. And depending on how far you push it, you may need to scale it up. And now let's see if that's in between the boats. Eh, not quite. I'm going to push it a bit further back and over. And I'll change this to be about 100. That's a little better. So now when I play this, Every movement the camera makes, the text now follows suit, even the angle. So this is how easy 3D camera tracking is in After Effects. You click track camera in the tracker panel and it tracks the real world camera, giving you then a fake 3D tracked camera that any 3D layer will then interact with. Now I could come through and I could add as many text layers or even like shape layers or pictures, whatever I want. And the further away I push those in this 3D space, the less parallax it will have. The closer it is to the camera, the more parallax it will have. So I could push this 3D text layer, try to get it all the way back to my little house out there. I don't even know if I can zoom out that far. Oh, maybe I broke it. but. See how it has less parallax? Now it's tracking with like this bench out here. So wherever you place this, it's going to interact differently with our camera. Now, I'm gonna go back to my track boat layer. And I'm gonna click on the 3D camera tracker effect that's still applied. And look what comes up again. Go back to my one view, all of our little crosses. What do these do? Well, we'll cover that and more in the next tutorial as we continue our exciting adventures of motion tracking in After Effects.